Welcome in, Rim Builders. Uh, I don't know why Tinan tried to sneak this one by, releasing news on a Friday afternoon like it's something he's trying to hide, because this is amazing news. I, I'm shocked I didn't hear about it till today. New ambient horror setting and tribal anomaly support. New ambient horror mode threads anomaly threats directly into the game. I am super excited for this. Uh, the previous patch that we already got addressed most of my issues with Anomaly, and this one goes even further. So the gist of this is that they are adding more settings to your game world, being that you can set a new ambient horror mode. So you have three choices here. You can do standard with monolith. That's the anomaly that we've been running up until this point. We can do ambient horror, which means we don't have the monolith, but we still get the anomaly things happening, which for better or worse, you could have an easy run and get some cool tech and some neat rituals that could really boost your colony up. Or you could have some horrific, uh, I don't want to say spoiler things happen to you that you are not prepared for. I think this definitely, definitely helps thread the content from Anomaly in a lot better with the base game. They also give us a third option here, which is disabled, where you won't get the Anomaly threats. However, we get to keep all the tools, security doors, incinerators, rifles, etc, etc, etc. All the, all the toys that came with it that do not require direct things coming out of the Anomaly content. I'm very, very happy to see that. Another one of my worries slash disappointments was I was already running a mod so that I could try Tribal Anomaly. Because the problem is you required electricity for a lot of it and you didn't have very good Tribal support. And that's been mostly addressed here. So I'm super, super happy to see that. So we have a new Biopharite extraction research project. We can do it uh, by chopping down the trees, which is excellent for tribals. We have m uh, more things that require technology, but not electricity. And we have some things that can be made at crafting spots, which totally makes sense, right? Like why couldn't you make a ceremonial hood or a ritual mask or some of the other things at a crafting spot? So that definitely, definitely helps tribals out. Uh, when I play tribals, generally speaking, I don't like rushing to electricity. The whole point of playing tribal is that you're not modern. And if you're required to get electricity to get other things, it just feels bad. It, it, it kind of ruins the uh, immersion there for me. So very happy to see that. There's a change log here. I'm not going to read the exact thing, but lots of fixes. Very happy to see those. With this, I think they've addressed all but one of my anomaly complaints. And my one remaining thing is, if I'm playing in disabled mode, there is really not a lot of content here. You know, they listed off the things that they've added, uh, the Ceremony Hood, Nerve Spiker, Ritual Mask, Google Playing, all those are things that, yeah, are you gonna be using those if you're not doing anomaly type stuff on your run? I'm not, I'm not certain that you would. Uh, the doors, okay, the doors are pretty good. Some of the weapons are okay, but that's not much. That's just a handful of things. And I mean, how many Hellcap rifles and turret packs am I gonna use on a run? I still would like to see some more items added. Like, I I'm talking like double this amount of things specifically for like disabled run, like things that you could just use. Like with royalty, you could still use your psychic things. You can still get the quest. You still have lots of new items and events in the game. Lots of content, even if you're not directly interacting with the core function of the DLC. That all being said, I already was relatively happy with the previous patch. So this is a nice little icing on top for me. I'm curious how other people have uh, felt about the DLC. We've had it out for a few weeks now. I think reviews have held pretty steady and pretty good. So great to see there. I'm glad it was decently received. I definitely feel that this has been the most, I guess, quote unquote, controversial. I mean, it's not a true controversy, but it definitely felt a lot more niche than the other DLCs did. And maybe you say that's for better. Maybe you say that's for worse. I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how other people have been enjoying it. I've been posting some videos from my run. I've been struggling quite a bit in it because I started before the first major patch. So I had two people in a ghoul. I lost my ghoul in a fight 
and it's been an absolute struggle to get people recruited, especially before the changes to the percentages of anomaly events. I just didn't have any opportunities for a really long time. So now I'm in this real awkward spot where my wealth is really high, but I don't have a lot of fighting power, which for anyone that plays RimWorld, that's a very not safe place to be. So hopefully I will get some more recruits before that colony is destroyed. Time will tell, I guess. If you'd like to check out that playthrough, it's right here on the channel. There's a playlist. Hopefully we'll be popping up at the end of this video. And otherwise, I'd just love to see in the comments. I know a lot of people were uh, really interested in the content coming around this DLC. And I'm curious how you feel about it. Are you still playing it after a few weeks? Have you moved on to other games? Have you just disabled Anomaly and gone back to playing without it? Share your thoughts there. I'm happy to hear it. And maybe if there's a lot of people with a lot of interesting takes, maybe I'll make another video on it. Otherwise, I'm expecting this is probably the end of our anomaly news out of RimWorld, at least for the foreseeable future. Now we just have uh, looking forward to all the new mods that are starting to come out, taking advantage of the new stuff. So happy modding, Rim Builders, and I will see you in another one.